Yo, what's going on Epic 7? I'm Sue, and in this video, I want to talk about the pre-release for the Epic 7 PC client that came out late last night. I've been wanting a PC client for this game for like three years or something, and it's one of the biggest asks that I've been begging the development team over at Smilegate to actually kind of give us, because, well, the leader in the space, Hoyoverse, has their own launcher for games like Genshin Impact, Zenless Zone Zero, so on and so forth. Wuthering Waves just came out earlier this year. That also had a standalone client, right? And even Goddess of Victory Nikkei two years ago got a standalone PC client, which is incredible, by the way, just a month or so after its release on global. So, you know, if these companies that are, you know, in some cases like Shift Up, uh, who used to be smaller than Smilegate, and then obviously Kuro Games, if they can have their own launchers, then why can Epic 7 not have it? I feel like any major gotcha game in 2024 needs a standalone PC client because most people PC game. PC gaming is the primary way I feel like most people game uh, as well as mobile. Like These are the two biggest ways that most people engage with games nowadays in 2024 and having your game on both platforms is vital. So uh, most people were using emulators from things like uh, the Amazon App Store, which is still here on the website if you want to use it, uh, the Huawei App Gallery, um, LD Player, Blue Stacks, Mimu, Google Play Games Beta. There's tons of ways to play Epic 7 on the PC, but not officially through the people who make Epic 7, which is kind of like a, a big thing. Like everyone's streaming your game, but they're not using your official client. So why is it not here? And the other fear that I have was that when it came out, it would be littered with bugs and it would not be a good experience. I am happy to say that the Epic 7 pre-release, this isn't even the official release, pre-release client is, in my opinion, the definitive way to play Epic 7 on PC right now. It runs super smooth. It looks super crisp. I've had no slowdowns whatsoever. Like normally when you would background battle or like promote characters um, with like, you know, spirit blooms, you would get some kind of lag or slowdown on emulators or even on mobile. That does not happen on the PC client. It's amazing. Is it perfect? No, there are a couple of things that I wish that the game had. Um, some of the uh, character models, the live 2Ds, when the visuals look this good, you could kind of tell they're a bit dated, a little bit pixelated. I think those might need a touch up. Um, no widescreen support, kind of, you know, miss the mark. Uh, having uncapped FPS would also be amazing for those of us that have really uh, high end machines. That would be super cool. Uh, and there are a couple other things that I'll show you inside of the game that are missing. So again, it's not perfect, but for me, it doesn't crash like Google, you know, has been doing in the past, the Google Play Games beta store. So that's a plus there. And again, it runs better and is it feels like it would be less intrusive overall than any of the other emulators that I am playing. So the official client should be, in my opinion, the definitive way to play it. And so far, I feel like they are on their way. Now, if you don't actually have the PC client, let's talk about how to get it. As you can see, I'm on this website here with these three lovely ladies. We have Elvira, the goat, as well as Fumir and uh, whoever this chick is here in the back. So these three girls here, uh, they're going to be on epic7.onstove.com. That is the website for you to download the actual uh, launcher here. I say launcher because you'll have to go through Smilegate's stove launcher in order to actually play the game. This might seem like a bummer. You might just be like, oh, but I just want Epic 7. I don't want all this other stuff. For the most part, the launcher seems pretty lightweight. So that's, you know, fine. And other games like Hoyo, like I said, they already have their standalone launcher. This is just the industry standard at this point and is also probably going to serve as a, a hub for Chaos or Nightmare. Whenever that drops, that'll probably also be here on the stove client. So what you need to do on this website is either click the giant start game in the top right hand corner or just hit PC client here, right? It will ask you to log in with your stove account. So however you log into Epic 7, that is the login information that you need in order to actually log in. Then you'll go and get a download link for this here. This is the stove client here on your screen. It'll pop up like so. You'll see in the top right hand corner, Susan Mia, this is my main account, right? Make sure that you're actually logged in on the correct account. Uh, just as a fun little Easter egg here, you can click your name. It will bring you here to your stove profile. Uh, and you are allowed to actually see how many hours you've played Epic 7. Uh, mine is bugged. I definitely have played more than 2,723 hours. I've been playing this game for six years 
literally every day and I let it AFK uh, overnight all the time. So this is definitely not right for me, but it seems to be correct for my alt account. Let me know down in the comments below how long you guys have been playing. The longest that I've seen is actually Tristan Wolf with like 36 and a half thousand hours, which is like over four years of consecutive game time, um, which is ludicrous uh, when I think about it. That means he like basically never turns the game off. Uh, I don't expect mine to be that high, but yeah, it's just uh, something to think about. Anyways, what you need to do once you're inside here is you need to actually go and download Epic 7 itself. So you'll see here, I have Stowe Best Game on the home screen. There's also this banner here, play the animation. Clicking either of these will add Epic 7 here to your launcher. If not, you simply just need to go to the store here and just search it under here under the search bar. Once Epic 7 is added here, you simply just need to hit install. It should be like lightning fast, like five seconds to install the game. Um, and then you'll get a pop-up notification letting you know that it's ready to go. Simply hit play, download the latest patch inside of the game. You are good to go. Now, one thing I do like about the launcher, right, is there are links here to like the update content, GM boards, right? All the different social media pages, including like YouTube, if you want to see character trailers. And most importantly here, there is this... Uh, 1114 known issues for the current PC client. Clicking that will bring you over to this page here, which has all of the current bugs that people have discovered. If you find one that's not on here, please post it here on the stove boards so that, that way the dev team is aware of it and it could get fixed. Again, I would like this to be the best experience that it possibly can be, and already it's pretty good. Anyways, let's show you guys how fast this thing actually boots up. So you just simply need to hit play, right? And on the emulator, I don't know about you, but it's usually pretty slow. But once it goes through a check there, boom, pops up instantly here into the title screen. Now select my server and then just hit start. Boom, and I'm in game. We're ready to go. All right, my to sing log in for the day, All right? What do I sell? And so, like you said, it, it runs pretty buttery smooth, right? Even like animations, like no slowdowns. They look super crisp. Uh, the one we were looking at last night was Birgitta. She looks pretty good in particular here, I feel like, for the PC client. Nice. nice fluid animation. So like I said, looks pretty good. Even background battling, no real slowdown whatsoever. If I come here to hunts, right, and I try to like do... Um, like dailies, for example, let me make sure I, I don't like auto on camera and in. Yeah, so we have uh, actually quick battling. So if I want to just quick battle this, right? Say we grab uh, some stamina. Normally on mobile or emulator, there's some kind of slowdown or stutter. I don't really experience any of that here, right? Boom. And then immediately just goes into it. Yeah, man. My one shot making me look bad on camera. Okay. Anyways, but there you go. As you can see, pretty quick, pretty painless, right? So to me, it just feels overall nice and fluid. Now, as for actual gripes, as we talked about earlier, if you like zoom in on some of these like models, they are pretty pixelated. This is already true, you know, beforehand on the emulator or mobile. But now that the game is like in like really high res, uh, it's pretty noticeable. So Seeing a touch up on some of those, like a more HQ, a more high def pack for some of these characters, for those that want to kind of buy into that, would be super awesome, right? Uh, I would really, really love that kind of feature. Other features that are missing that you may or may not have noticed, if you go to the events tab and scroll down to all event details, uh, normally if you're on mobile uh, or like Google, right? If you are on a Google Android device, you will see the ability to redeem codes here. That is something that is unique to Google. It is not supported for this standalone PC client and it has not been available on iOS for like five years. So if you're used to playing on Google, there is no redeem codes, right? That is something that they will have to address either by abandoning codes altogether or coming up with a new system of giving us the free rewards like that 300 gold, 300K gold and the uh, leaves that they normally do for various different events. Also, if you were on Google, you may have noticed that there is no advertisements for you to watch to get the 100 stamina. If you're a free-to-play player that is trying to min-max your stamina every single day, PC Client does not have that feature. So that might be uh, a deal-breaker for some of you. Other things that uh, 
you cannot do, and this kind of affects Fix It Friday in particular here on the channel, right? Is that if I want to go over and see uh, a character's like in-game score like Abigail here, right? Uh, and you can see this unit is low-key insane, right? If I want to see how did somebody build this Abigail, right? How is it low-key insane? Can't do that. That, that feature is just not there. I cannot view builds from other people on other versions of the game. So they might have posted on an emulator or they might have posted on mobile. I cannot see those things. They're not accessible currently. Uh, also, also here for Fix It Friday, like I said, normally we use this screen in order to share the builds with various different people. You could still obviously use a snipping tool with like Windows key plus shift plus S or just the snipping tool in general in order to post it to like Discord or any other kind of image hosting site that you want to. But you'll notice that the buttons that normally allow you to save it to your hard drive and then easily share it to a social media site, that is gone. It is not accessible currently on the PC client. Alternatively, let me see if I could find if anybody has posted anything in guild chat. Probably not now, although like a various different builds. But if I want to share a build to my guild chat or view something that somebody has sent me in either general or guild chat, I cannot do that currently on the client. So those are pretty much the big, big hangups. But in exchange, you get a client that is buttery smooth, looks super great, uh, sounds actually a bit too good. The volume feels like it's a lot higher naturally inside of the client um, than when I played on emulator. I had to basically come over here and kind of like turn down my sound. I think it's at 50%. Uh, normally I play it at 100% on other platforms. So uh, maybe that's just me. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, for me, buttery smooth, no crashes, uh, looks great, sounds great. All the things that I was really hoping for are here. Just a couple of minor hiccups that might be deal breakers for you. And now that we are like truly on a PC client, I'd like to see uh, them kind of, you know, take advantage of that PC oomph. I would like to see a bigger uh, array of features, like I said, like widescreen, like more HD live 2D models. So that, that way we can kind of get like the full quality of these things uncompressed. So that that way we could kind of compare and contrast to see who finally, once and for all, who has the better live 2D sprites, Epic 7 or a game like Goddess of Victory and EK. Anyways, that's going to do it for my thoughts as well as the install guide here for the PC client. Let me know your thoughts on everything down in the comment section below. Do you like the PC client? Are you having issues with it? Would love to hear any and all thoughts. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later now.